happy November and hope you're doing good and you're having a nice uh, time and you're in perfect health this is a bit long introduction but I felt like necessary having it because I just didn't feel like vlogging in a sense like coming in front of camera for some reason I don't know why <laughs> I just didn't feel so um, since it's big it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas I thought why not to pick up the camera and just start sharing some inspiration so with uh with the help of my sweet friend this year i am planning to do a lot a lot of home diy decor or um you know like very really budget friendly uh, options uh, so i think this would be really good for you as well if you are someone who don't want to invest much or who doesn't want to spend a lot and go all out for Christmas decoration and this is something which you can look forward to as well. So first things first, let me start with the book recommendations because it really helps to, you know, set the, the vibe, uh, you know, your mind practically gets into the festive mood so my first holy grail is this one i wish it could be christmas every day by millie johnson i read it last year and it's just so beautiful it's just so light read and you know i mean i just like to flip through the pages and what i do is i just like uh, do an underline or something so I'll what I'll do is I'll just revisit those lines and that will you know just like bring me so much joy to go back again okay so see I'll just tell you one line it says they all enjoyed more carols from the radio and buttery baked potatoes in front of the fire everything washed down with red wine except for Charlie who had a gin and tonic with a maraschino I don't know how is it pronounced cherry dropped in it so the thing is that when you revisit this books and when you revisit those lines which you highlighted uh, you know when you read before it just bring back those special memories or the time that you have read and plus it also sets the vibe because you'll underline what you like right so that is what i am doing right now so this is precisely for me to get into the festive mode to get into the inspiration to get into some motivation to check uh you know just things that makes me happy and books are having a huge huge part in that uh, uh so here outside the window uh, outside the snow continued to fall but softly so the wind was taking a rest i mean just like it's just a perfect book snowfall festivities inside the cozy cottage if you don't know the story i have briefly mentioned in the last year's christmas vlog so you can you know go ahead and check that video you will get some more details and if you want to read it after checking the video you can you know uh read the book and yeah it's just so pretty yeah so this is my first book and then last year i mentioned that i had one more book by sophie kinsella which is christmas uh shopaholic and last year i said that i'm really in awe of the details and and so yeah so i i really uh, want to read the book before you know bed and and i just started i'm just one page in 
and let's see how it goes so this is the book that i'm reading currently and there's one more book that i'm planning to read it is the christmas tea shop or yeah it's something like that or is the christmas bookshop i'm not sure it's but it's by jenny colgan i'll insert the picture here so you know you you can know it, i have heard a lot of things about this book that it's beautifully written and it's a light read so i'm planning to read that as well and uh, yeah so i hope that you enjoyed this video um uh, there's just little bit of bits and pieces in everything here but before i do proceed i want to tell you that i uh, you know i just want to clarify or not just clarify just explain like why christmas is special for me it's just that this is the time of the year where we you know rejoice in the birth of our savior jesus christ we rejoice uh the fact that he came to the world to you know to bridge the gap between us and god you know he came to the world leaving the throne of heaven and and it's just that every time when i do this decorations i just i just tell the lord that i'm so thankful for everything that i have and that what he has provided me with and just for him you know a lot of time we don't do that you know we don't thank the lord for him and that's what the season is all about just dwelling on his mercies his grace uh his love especially so christmas is the season of traditions for me in the sense like spending time with god you know more intimacy with god and also spreading the joy with um, all those we know so i'm very much looking forward to celebrate it every year with my family and my children in future and you know passing the tradition to them as well so hope you enjoy the video and if you do please like and subscribe to the channel thank you hi there it's such a beautiful day today hope you're doing good and It's a special day today. We are decorating for Christmas and I'm just so excited and I'm really looking forward to share this with you. Uh it's special because last year this time I started the journey of vlogging and I'm really looking forward to share this year's decorations with you all. So, let's get right into it. Grab yourself a cozy warm um cup of coffee or hot chocolate and um get yourself to a comfortable place and just enjoy this video in love with how simple the tree is and i'll do something there with the skirt uh, for now i'll just like throw the uh scarf but i'll figure it out and look at this i also added one image how precious is that ah uh, yeah so it's time It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas.
Uh, so I hope that you enjoyed the video. Uh, it was really fun uh, decorating this year and to be honest, I didn't purchase any single ornament uh, from outside. It is whatever I had uh, from last year's uh, collection or uh, you know whatever I had purchased last year. That's what I used and plus with the help of my very close friend, uh, I added a lot, a lot of DIY, uh, you know, ornaments, which I'll show you in a while. But a big shout out to this friend of mine who, you know, went all out, all out in, in, uh, you know, making my Christmas even special. So definitely, I have seen God's kindness this year a little extra, <laughs> and last year i am not sure if you have checked my last year's vlog but if not please do check it out this is what i got last year i don't know if you can see properly the camera and it is such a beautiful and it's from goa so it's very special to me and i also got this is just for decor it's um it's like for collecting money but i'm just like using i only use it and take it out during uh, christmas time so this is also i'm planning to utilize somewhere so yeah so so this is the update hope you are having you know nice time it's especially so windy and chilly in bangalore so i'm under the weather right now and it's so chilly so it's giving that perfect uh, ambiance for the christmas the wintry mood and all and uh, perfect to enjoy a little bit more of that hot cocoa and that coffee and that we couldn't have and yeah i i, I hope you enjoyed this video um hope that you know you spend this christmas meditating on god's love his grace and his mercy the very fact that he has a special place for you and you just need to do is believe in him so hope this christmas brings you a lot of peace and joy from jesus so uh, there is one more vlog that is actually coming soon which is my solo travel vlog it's it's not planned it was not an, at all a solo trip but i'll tell you the story in that vlog itself and yeah i mean i want to show you the decorations because this friend of mine definitely deserves the shout out in this video so let's quickly show you the ornaments that i've used in the christmas tree for this particular tree topper i had uh you know like purchased last year itself uh, from uh, Bangalore Commercial Street so that's there and it's gonna be there for a long long time I just love the snowflake uh, coming down look at this bow so I was going for a bow wipe this year and I was like how to do this bow and she just randomly came up with this she had brought this so this whole tree is decorated with bows and it's just having my heart and I just love how delicate and how beautiful it's looking. Uh, so that's also, uh, she brought this material. I think it's from her dupatta and we turned it into an elegant bow. This I had last year. This I made. Very rare ornaments that I have made. <laughs> so uh, please bear with me. I'm not, I was not that much into the mood to get into. But this is... Uh, I could not tuck, uh, uh, attach that, um, what do you say, thread. So this is a mini Christmas tree that I just like covered it with uh, cardboard, a little bit of pearls. So let me keep it back. Um, then we have pine cones. This is also beautifully made by her mom my friend's mom she made it from uh, the blouse piece and 
I think inside there is cotton. But yes, yeah, so these are hearts that you will see bits and pieces here and there. See one here. And we have this beautiful, beautiful, I don't know what do you say this, but I have got this as an anniversary gift from my church. And I have this. It's, I think it's made of cardboard, but I'm not sure what exactly do you call this kind of material. So I just dig in hole and just like attached a thread and made it a Christmas ornament, which will always be special to my heart because it was gifted as an anniversary gift. So there's one of joyful, then we have peaceful. Um, there's somewhere more as well. Oh, one minute. Yeah, grateful, whatever. If I'm not wrong, there are more. I don't know where have I kept them. Oh, how did this one come? Blessed. Yeah, so. So, we have these as well, which are very special. This is all last year's ornaments, so which I have used. And these, this is a star made from cement. Oh my God, hats off to this girl who has so beautifully, look at the detailing she also attached white thread white ribbon so that it doesn't look off i mean i'm all about the details the small things matters the most to me and these stars are looking so beautiful just look at them i mean if i try doing that star it's gonna take me forever the way she did it i'm in awe of it really in awe of it I just love it so much sprinkle stars um, uh, in and around you know the tree and I have one more special ornament which is also a gift from my dear colleague in office I was just telling her that I'm, I don't know why but this year I just feel like I'm into reindeers and I want to do some DIY with reindeers because I don't want to buy an ornament and she literally gave me one ornament and that was so kind of her to give me so I'm like okay let me put it there and this is also something that I made okay I have only made like practically only two things but hey come on little did I know that I'll not have any time okay that's an excuse but yeah this is a wreath and I made a little bit bow and there's my wreath and please bear with me I'm having a cold and then there's this boy this is also a gift from my friend uh, from Nepal so she traveled Nepal recently so she brought this and said this is a good Christmas ornament as well so I think this is pretty much it yeah and one more I made uh, it's a Christmas tree oh one got out as well mm -hmm. okay so this is a Christmas tree of like beads made with beads behind is cardboard and yeah the beads so it's like i'm so happy that this is so personalized this is everything i love from the memories to people and i also did one more thing i went ahead and took few printouts that inspired me that gave me a little bit more cozy vibes so i had initially put this frame above the tree but it was not looking good so I just removed that and added in here and I'll cover it there somewhere and then also I went ahead and I don't know why is it coming like this but I just like had taken a printout of this song and it's just looking really cozy I need to attach one more it's that DIY thing yeah, I just saw in someone's video to attach a like double tape and just stick it so you'll not ruin and you can remove this after the christmas and reuse the previous frame and uh, so i need to attach one more um, cello tape here and then i think it should be good to go but it's such a beautiful vintage um uh, you know kind of uh, situation going on here along with these two 
so i really like it and then one more that i love 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 is this one which is of jesus's birth but i really like that artistic detail that is going on there and please bear with me we need to fix that situation there so yeah so i love this detail i also have one more that i need to show you but i'm not sure if you'll be able to see that right now if you can see it it's the nutcracker let me take it in light and show you a little bit maybe if possible oh can you see that yeah i think you can see it better now in the christmas light or oh, the nutcracker it's a movie which i've never seen but i've always heard about it and i was very much inspired by the theme going on here and i thought this is looking very pretty so i added it in a frame and just putting it here uh, along with a candle which i never burn i'm allergic to smells strong smells so i never burn but it's kept there so, so yeah that's in one more wreath i have put there and there is a garland situation going which i don't have sufficient so we are only using what we have not going all out and yeah so happy so cozy it is and at night to just sit down there here and by the christmas tree and just read a bible or just pray or meditate on god's word and just like have an amazing reading time along with a hot beverage i mean I, there's nothing more that i can ask for so hope you love this video hope this gives you a little bit of inspiration to not necessarily go out and go out for shopping and everything but you know do whatever you can to make it special because at the end of the day it's not just the things that you purchase but how you make the most of what you have that matters right so i am very much thankful to the lord let me let me turn the camera to myself yeah so i am i was saying that i'm really thankful to the lord for really blessing me with people in my life who who just made my christmas even special even better because honestly i had a lot of things and and again there's no like rule or law or you know in some kind of thing that okay i have to decorate i have to do this there's nothing like that in the bible there's nothing mentioned you have to buy a christmas tree or anything like that but again as i said in the previous uh, video uh, so in the beginning of the video that i want to build a tradition in this time where where you know i i see myself decorating the christmas tree or making some uh, you know cookies or something like that with my children and just passing on that tradition talking about jesus all day long you know just loving each other a little bit more uh, around this time so that's what exactly i experienced this year when i said to my friend that i'm not having a budget to do anything this year but whatever i have i'm planning to make use of that and then she immediately pitched in and she said okay then i'm going to help you to do the diy stuff and honestly if you see if you saw what i just showed you in the in the ornaments maximum 99% of the things has been done by her so like god is so good and gracious that he always bless me beyond what i ask or even i can imagine because i never thought that there will be someone who will help me with my christmas tree and not just that but or will also show me god's love and mercy and grace through this act so hope that this inspires you to celebrate christmas and more than that that it inspires you to know jesus who is the true reason behind all of these things uh, without him there's nothing else so hope you enjoyed the video if you did please do like share and subscribe and yes before you go i know we have been a lot bit more chatty in this video but before you go off i just explore one beautiful movie and i'm in love with this movie it's giving so beautiful vibes it's called i don't know why i'm forgetting names i don't know why 
but it's called something B and B. Okay, bread and breakfast, like Christmas at the B and B. I don't know. I'll just insert a picture somewhere here. So if you have Netflix, please do check it out. I, it's completely like Hallmark movie, but it's amazing. So do check that out and enjoy your hot chocolate and the rest of the Christmas holiday season. Bye, see you soon.